Matapos magpakitang gilas sa magkakasunod na laban sa Amerika ng Pinoy na si Marcito, no Mercesta, na kung saan ang mga kinalaban nga nito, karamihan, mga Mexican fighter. Year 2017, sa kanaya namang ikatatlong po na laban, isinabak naman kay Marcito Esta ang isang hindi rin basta-bastang kalaban, Mexicanong may tapang at isang knockout artist na si Gilberto Gonzales na ang kanilang bakbakan nga ay ginanap sa Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. To remind you of now, when I say stop, hable pare, okay? But that means to stop whatever you're doing, give me a clean break. Okay. You understand? Okay. Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Gentlemen, let's do this. Okay, bro. But it was not due to injury, so it's Hesta who really has a lot to prove. You know, coming off an injury, you know, he's kind of tough. He went to the first two, three rounds, getting his rhythm. He can, you know, loosen up those low kicks. And also being rushed, he's going to have to go ahead and down, throw punches. Get some... Ring, he told us in our fighter meetings, I feel better than ever. My right hand, he really hadn't been throwing that right as much as he'd like. He's usually economic with his punches, and now he's throwing that right more than he's ever done a But you know, he's a softball in the right hand and left foot with an orthodox fighter as he's been yeah. So you see the, the stance of both guys and the right hand from the softball. So Hesta showing confidence in himself, throwing good combinations against a power Mesito Hesta. He learned to do this while he was helping sparring with Marco Antonio Barrera and Juan Manuel Marquez as they were preparing for Mario to himself because he's trying to find a way where he can see a better target. And it might be a better target being Southpaw. Well, okay. Gonzalez is really focused on nice that touch. straight left oh, nice hand. Nice uppercut, too. Yes, nice uppercut, but he's focused on that straight left hand after it goes on. Looking for those one two combat in the center of the ring momentarily as Gonzalez to land. And Hesta just staying within himself as uh, he is wont to do. Gonzalez should be using his jab from out. Coming to an end here from the Cosmo with Bernard Hopkins on Bernard Osuna as Hesta punctuates round. From Mexico City's Gilberto Gonzalez with that four inch. Using that reach. I mentioned it before the round end. If he take a half a step back and use that reach, since right there is where he should be, not that distance that he's getting hit now by combinations of punches. In and not allowing Hesta to be caught on the edge of the glove. He's not letting his punches get the full extent of the power where he can't get out of the way even if he tried. Just a look at the time. Gilberto Gonzalez. Nice uppercut there by Merci. Very confident in what he's doing inside the ring tonight. Shoulder or down the middle. But he's not doing that. He seems to want to be in close. Looking to use the jab is a little bit of inflammation under the right eye. Or left. Southpaw, he won't get hit with the straight left or the right hand that's catching him as we just orthodox to Southpaw, and then he's back to Southpaw. Mercito catches him on the end of the wing on the way he's fighting tonight. Well, I don't think it's showing. I just think he's that you settled in, you feel good, if you feel good, and you get to doing things like this. Great combinations, counter. combinations, right hands, left hooks, four, five, six combinations. Ooh, but then he gets caught with a right hand from Gilberto Gonzalez. That's exactly what Gilberto, we've said before, he's willing to take a lot of shots in order to land his own. Now he's just getting wild, and Gesta is some... Everything going on for himself. He took his eye off the target, and he got counted. Way ...to describe Gilberto Gonzalez. will explain why later on in this... Oh, guys. One, two, three. ...percent of his victories by way of knockout. He's been... No, so... That's going to be a concern, but he's fought through so much more than that. When you see blood like that coming from Gonzalez, it has to be broken because that's a that's a really, really lot of blood coming. His nose. But Gonzalez is throwing punches hard because chance on this fight going another round or two because his straight left on the straight right on that same nose. And he's blowing out of the nose, and that's probably the Told, Yes, but you never blow your nose if it's bleeding or been punched. Yep. And when your eyes swell up, now you can't see. So you got bigger problems. He's already got the mouse underneath the left eye that's going to start to inflame his face. Is red and there for 
uppercut you mentioned, and down goes Mercito Gesta. He was down in his last fight. That was a flash knockdown. No flash here, B-Hop. But it was a knockdown. That was a knockdown, just like we mentioned earlier. We knew that Gonzalez had the power to shake up Gesta. He drops him here in round number three. A bloody mess. But he's ordered to get into the fight and look for the knockout. Big left hook there by Mercito Gesta, and he gets countered to the body. And every now and then he comes up with the right, with the left. You know, he, and he won more. That's it. That big right that was partially blocked by the glove of Mercito Gesta, who now lands a knife in round number three. As Gonzalez put he moved like this, then Gonzalez got to go ahead and reset. Round number four of a 10 round fight. We know what we're so far. He's been able to land one that shook up Gesta running or boxing but he has to keep his hands moving whether it's the right hand or left foot or the stiff jab and now this there is happening is. he must connect a nice combination but both fighters are really going wide with their punches here he stop putting punches together as gonzalez is up against the ropes doesn't seem like that's the place he wants to fight you know with a long arm reach because for some reasons and let that straight right hand straight left hand come straight down the pipe it's taking a half a step back oh big left there from gonzalez but yeah, he sort of rubbernecked it, you know, he sort of yeah. went with the punch, but he didn't count. The move was brilliant, Watch your but hands, he didn't guys. come right back. Now he did with a three-punch combination. And look at the legs of Gilberto. He's breathing. He's, he, he's really probably breathing blood. He's swallowing blood, and now he's throwing punches from, from a desperate situation. And he's... Gilberto Gonzalez, as we've seen earlier on in this fight. Six. A lot closer than what we've seen due to that knockdown in round three as we begin round five with hot yes, you've seen him throwing a lot of punches but you don't see uppercuts you don't see things that gonzalez in a position like that he's bleeding he's having trouble some reaction now b-hop when you see a cut over the eye you the kill. i mean if, if you esther you go for the kill but if you gonzalez look gonzalez is a tough guy gonzalez been through a lot you know, it isn't forward, but this is something that he's dealt with in his career so far as adversity. And we see the big, we see him get knocked down by what? Looking at his work, standing tall. If he continues to do that in these late rounds with both guys, it's really surprising that he go down again now, to the, him. The one thing that's been really missing from Hestine he's using here in round five was that jab because through four rounds, they had both connected 29 jabs each. Much a power puncher, but he's thrown a lot of punches that are power to him, and Gonzalez still continue to come forward and take punches in spite of his condition. And we see Mercito Hesta looking to tee off with the uppercuts there. He's targeting. Because there's really no power on those punches, but they accumulate, trying to slow him down. Getting to the midway point of this fight now, Joel Diaz, who is Gonzalez's trainer, says that he's one of the toughest fighters he's ever heard about it. I mean, this guy, we saw him hop across the Joel Diaz is quite concerned in terms of what the refs and what the judges Vito Gonzalez fight in his loss against Sir Rooms. Say that he's not in the desperate move or his corner is not, but they are. I mean, he came out of cross punches and caught Esther with some good right hands. But let me tell you, and just now the right uppercut that caught Esther standing straight up again oh, like he did. This is the chance that Gonzalez. Yeah. You cannot fall asleep on Gonzalez because of that. Yep. Esther's not throwing shorter, quicker punches to counteract that like that. Because he's now he's trying to, I guess, avoid the wide punches and understanding that, you know, if he if he should understand. This is exactly what Gonzalez wants. He wants you to. Well, Esther just looked at the clock when he looked over <laughs> every now and then, not all the time, but he's throwing combinations still. It's that long layoff. It's not. He steps back. Gonzalez will always have an opera on the other hand. He wants to become a headliner, and he's got to come away with a convincing victory here tonight against Gonzalez as round six comes to an end. Half five, half five. Man, you hit harder than him. Go get him. And he gave it. Gonzalez is stronger. And if you look at the fights in exchange, Gonzalez he will not win this battle in the middle of the ring. And as we've mentioned before, some touches that he throws per round, and Gonzalez connecting 17 out of 47. Smart counter puncher. And this is what he has to display. Blowing that blood through his nose. And you can only imagine or, or expect him to be swallowing some of that. And that's got to bother him as he connects a nice uppercut to Gesta momentarily. But Gonzalez, you have to give. Look at the straight left hand. And it got little Esther's attention that showed that these guys are mean in business and they want to move forward. And try to connect with those vicious shots here as round seven comes to an end. A fight that has a 10-8 round because of a knockdown. Getting closer as the rounds progress. 
and in close. Now I find it very interesting to say not to hurt him when you're smothering him. The plan is to hurt him when he's stepping out like he has to moving laterally. Gonzalez is through two straight at the clock. Again, the same oh, punch. Good uppercut now. Get you know, get him off him. Gonzalez was through two punches coming. Yes, and now lands a nice oh, that the barrage of punches is coming. One punch at a time. He misses the been a lot more swollen. But Gonzalez cannot continue to take punches square on the button. He just threw Changing jabs here as round eight has about 50 seconds left. To Boxing from Hesta and power shots yes. from Gonzalez, but it looks like Hesta. You know, a minute went by and both got his head hunting. And then uh, Gonzalez is going straight. Nice three-punch combination, but as he tries to go to the body here, Hesta always has an answer, and he's catching a second wind here at the Cosmopolitan in Las Vegas. Nice finish from Gonzalez. Time. Snap, sharpness, and continue to move and give a move. You know he's pop shot and Gonzalez and his, his legs. He's getting in position to counter. The corner of Gonzalez wants it to con So he's all coming with, he's coming with power. But he cannot, he fires off two or three shots in a few seconds, you will see that. Mercito Hesta once again peeked at the clock on the big screen here. Way to a good ninth round as Gonzalez wants to close out and steal it here on Golden Boy Boxing on ESP. Hesta gets tagged with the right hand, somewhat of a push, but this is what you expected when it came to the finish of this fight. Both guys laying it on the line, B-Hop. All out war. Absolutely. They are no. They fight it. Listen, Gonzalez fighting like the fight is so close where if he win this round, he win the fight. Who knows? It's happened in boxing, but this is what he knows that. So he's trying to box a little bit and the fight. The real estate, as Teddy Atlas always says, is important to finish the fight by not leaving it into the judges' hands. That left. <laughs> that still got a good chin. I mean, he rolled with some of that, but. Cito. Medicito, his dad, is a Muay Thai fighter. He's confused, and right now he's getting a little frustrated. Yes. You can see also Gonzalez is tired. He's breathing through his mouth. Success with it early, and he's going to try into the bell ring. Last 20 seconds of round 10 here at the Cosmo in Las Vegas. This is our co-main event, setting up for a great main event. The action between Mercito Gesta and... Gilberto Gonzalez has been non-stop. Yes, clench your fist, go, let it fly. As only five seconds remain, we make it to the final bell. Hey, what's up? On Golden Boy Boxing on ESPN and B-Hop, both fighters gave it their all, and it would seem that Mercito oh, Gesta... 96, 93, all for your winner by unanimous decision. No mercy, Mercito Gesta! Now, 96-93 seemed like the most adequate, but someone didn't even give him a 10-8 round behind. Yeah.